Hi guys, welcome to VTechie. Today we will write a program of one another interesting problem that is max contiguous sum. So in this program we will find max sum of contiguous elements. So let's write a program first, then I will explain the working of program. So let's get started. So I'm using int as a return type so that I can uh, able to return the max sum of uh, contiguous elements and method name is max sum we'll pass here integer array as a parameter so we will uh, we'll try to solve this uh, this problem using order of n complexity We'll use here uh, two variable. One is maxim, which hold the value at zeroth index, and another one is current sum. So we'll assign maxim to current sum for now, and we'll loop through array. Zeroth index of array from from zeroth index of array to last index of array. So I think we are starting from index zero, but you can see we already assign index zero value to max sum and current sum. So we'll not start from uh, index zero. Let's start from index one, so that we can com compare index uh, one value with the index zero value. So now we have to compare current sum value and uh, value at i th index. So we need to find the greater value, max value. So for that we will use here. Uh, max method of math class so we'll <coughs> add uh, i th index value with current sum so we will find i th index plus current sum value whether this one is greater or this uh, i think x value is greater so which one is max value we will assign the, uh, the same the same max value in current sum so we got current sum value now we need to compare whether current sum is holding max value or max sum is holding max value so to find max value we'll use again max method of math class so this method will return us max value so we'll assign this max value in max sum so we have done with the max value finding max value this will be our logic and after loop we'll return max sum so this is a small logic of this program guys so let's write a main method let's use same elements of array let's call maxim uh, method <coughs> so this maxim 
method will give us a max um, max sum of contiguous elements so let's store in um, max sum variable or instead of storing we can direct print here So we have done with the program now let's uh, run this program and check whether it's working fine or not so we are getting 8 here so let's check whether this 8 is valid or not so we are assigning this 0th index let me give you here index also zero index one index two index three index four index <coughs> So right now we have we are assigning max value. Uh, we are assigning zeroth index value to max maxum and we have maxum as two and current sum is also two. Sorry, minus two. <coughs> minus two and we are looping from index zero. Sorry, index one. So index value we have three and we are checking uh, current sum plus ith index value so it will be we are checking whether uh, we have current sum is minus 2 minus 2 plus uh, ith index value at means i is 1 so value at uh, value at 1 th uh, index of array is 3 so after addition it will become 1 and we are comparing whether uh, this 1 is greater or array of i means this 3 3 is greater so this is our method so we know this 3 is greater to this one and this method will return us max uh, max value so it will return 3 so our current value will become 3 and in next line we are comparing max value with uh, current sum max sum and current sum so max sum we have here max sum we have minus 2 and current sum we have 3 so this method this method will return us max sum so it will return 3 so we are assigning uh, 3 to maximum so here maximum will become 3 so in next loop uh, i value become uh, 2 so at at uh, second x we have value 5 and we are checking we are adding current sum plus uh, i index value that will current sum we have 3 and i index value we have 5 and we are checking with current value as well so 5 3 uh, 8 and another uh, value parameter is 5 so we can see here 8 is greater than 5 so this method will, will return us uh, max value so max value we have 8 we are assigning current sum as 8 and we are comparing maximum and current sum so maximum we have 3 and uh, current sum we have 8 so this 8 is greater value and we are assigning this greater value to maximum so maximum will become 8 and in next iteration i is incrementing by 1 so it will become 3 and 
i is 3 so instead of this we can do this i is 3 and we have at i index we have 11, a, val a value as minus 11 and we are adding current sum we have current sum as <coughs> current sum we have 8 and we are adding 8 plus minus 11 so and another one is 11 sorry minus 11 so we are comparing which one is greater so after addition of this it will become minus 3 minus 3 and 11 so minus 3 is greater we are assigning minus 3 in current sum value so current sum will be minus 3 and we are comparing whether current sum is greater or max sum is greater so max sum we have uh, 3 and uh, current sum we have minus 3 so 3 is greater we are assigning uh, sorry this is not 3 actually but this one is 8 so, yeah maximum is 8 so we have, we were we were forget to update maximum 8 here and uh, current sum is minus 3 so uh, we have max sum is 8 so we are assigning the same again to max sum so it is it will remain same so in next iteration we will have i value as uh, 4 sorry uh, i value become 4 and uh, at fourth index we have value 6 it's the last value and we are checking whether current sum current sum we have uh, value minus 4 minus 4 and we are adding this minus 4 value with 6 and this we have 6 so it will become 2 here after addition and here we have 6 means 6 is greater so we are assigning current sum as 6 and we are comparing max value with the current value so max value we have 8 and current value we have 6 again 8 is greater so we are assigning the same to max sum and 8 is remain 8 the max value will remain same so after increment uh, i value become 5 but you can see here uh, we have array length as uh, 4 so value will be false this condition will be false so it will come out to loop and return maximum so maximum we have here 8 so it will return the 8 to caller and we are printing so that's why we are getting here 8 so this output is valid output so we have done with this video guys uh, I hope this will be useful for you. So we'll we'll meet in next video with another interesting program. So thank you guys.